cute dog. Oh, thank you. He's a good dog. There's a better place than here. A better place? What do you mean? A place that forgives you. Will you, will you please tell me what you are talking about? <laughs> when someone makes a mistake, it's where anyone will truly forgive them. They may say they do, but they don't mean it. That's life. Most people find it hard to forgive. Yes, that's true. But some of us don't deserve forgiveness. I don't want to sound rude, but is there a point to any of this? Yes, it does have a point. Life is made up of choices. Some good, and some bad. Some make terrible ones, and take the wrong path in dealing with them. Yes, a lot of us do, but most of us make up for our mistakes. When we're born, we have the choice to live a full, normal life, or live with only misery and mistakes we ignore. Yes, I know that, but that's generally what people do. There are only a few of us, Michael, who believe we are here for a reason, while others believe it's all just fun before death. I don't remember telling you my name. You haven't today. Then how do you know my name? I know everything about you, Michael. Would you care to tell me how, then? You have your reason to live, as did I. This is just where it all led to. You're kidding, right? Did someone put you up to this? <laughs> this is no joke, Michael. This is truth. I do know you. I know you very well. Every detail, every memory, every secret. Who are you? I've never met you in my life. How would you know any of this? Uh, that is where you are wrong, Michael. I do know you. You are Michael Joseph James, 16 years old. You used to have anger issues, and now you are walking your dog in this empty park. Either you tell me who you are and how you know all this, or else I'm calling the cops. I'm your past. My past? What are you talking about? That accident really did a number on you, Michael, didn't it? Accident? What accident? That is why I am here. I am here to make you understand what happens. Please, sit on the bench. It'll make things much easier. Have you ever noticed, Michael, you come to the same park and sit on the same bench every time you walk your dog? It's only a park. Why? Why what? Out of all the parks in this area, why do you always choose this one when you can choose others? And you choose this bench when there are others of those too? I just feel something familiar with it. It's called Deja Vu, Michael. You feel you've been here before, but you can't recall when. That's why you keep coming back. Mm -hmm. This is where the past takes place. This is where your past takes place. At this same park, on this same bench, is where your forgotten memory happened. Dude, do you have something personal to say to me? Yes, I do. Well, this is a good place to come, I guess. It's nice and quiet. Yes, it is. I like Sarah also. Sarah? My Sarah? Well, she is mine. When did you get this feeling? I've liked her for a while, Michael. Everyone likes her, but not how I like her. No, I'm sorry, Michael. I also like her the same way you do, and I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm going to keep liking her. 
Come on. You know quite well that she is mine. You know quite well that you never have a chance with her, man. And just leave her to me. No, Michael. How hard is that to understand? No one ever talks to me that way. Never. Yeah, well, I just did. I'm out of here. panicking on your way home and were hit by a car a few blocks from this park. You were left in a coma which resulted in memory loss of events before the accident. The body was never found. There is no way you would know any of this. I don't believe you. Believe me or not, Michael, it's what you have done. This should never happen to anyone else again. Who are you? Michael, I'm your pet. Thank you.